There is a sense in the view that schooling, in other words, education, is the fulcrum of societal growth and development. Through time and space, methods, processes and strategies change making way for the continuous reform in the deployment of human and material resources to deliver education in tune with prevailing circumstances. This dynamism is the basis of this series, Smart Schooling, Smart Growth. Follow through as we track how Nigeria, Africa's biggest economy, is faring in driving its robust and elaborate tech-frosted smart schooling initiative anchored by the Universal Basic Education Commission, UBEC. Smart Education is a term used to describe learning in the digital age. It is gaining traction in many parts of the world. The goal of smart education is primarily to foster smart learners to meet the needs of the work and life in the 21st century and indeed beyond. Universal Basic Education Commission, UBEC, is Nigeria's federal establishment that has the mandate to coordinate universal basic education programs and prescribe minimum standards for basic education in the country. The commission was established by the Compulsory Free Universal Basic Education and Other Related Matters Act of 2004 to eradicate illiteracy, ignorance and poverty as well as to stimulate and accelerate national development, political consciousness and national integration. The tasks are considered vital towards fulfilling the cardinal national philosophy and goals of education as enshrined in the Constitution towards meeting the aspirations of social, economic and political development of the country. Among its several other value-driven engagements tailored along the line of diligently delivering on its mandate since exception, UBEC has undertaken to build and deploy smart schooling facilities for teaching and learning in primary schools in the country. This initiative is regarded by many stakeholders as well thought out, bold and strategic. Indeed, the move can best be appreciated as a perfect policy fit in tune with dynamism of irreversibly digital global environment where all sectors of national and international engagement are smart tech driven. This profound influence and strength of emerging scenario of increasing application of smart tech is not lost on the Universal Basic Education Commission, the apex driver of education delivery at the critical foundation level in Nigeria. The Commission is plugging into it and taking strident strategic advantage of the window of opportunities offered by Smart Tech to deliver on its mandate. Accordingly, it has since enunciated a smart schooling program geared towards building, equipping and running elaborate model smart schools in 36 states of the country and one in the Federal Capital Territory, making 37 altogether across the nation. The Smart Schools project is a bold step by UBEC to showcase how our public schools should look like and which tools, methods and infrastructure should be used in order to educate and adequately prepare Nigerian children for the new world of today. The schools are designed to deploy modern methods of education delivery that take advantage of information and communications technologies to promote higher learner achievements and relevant skills that enable innovation and creativity. The schools provide teachers and learners access to a wide range of educational resources available on the internet. A major attribute of smart schooling is that it makes learners active participants in the teaching and learning process. The teacher plays the role of facilitator, helping learners to build capacity 
to discover new knowledge, acquire new skills, and imbibe positive values. To this extent, learning becomes democratized rather than imposed. The school is wordless as teaching and learning extend beyond the borders of the school through e-learning capacity. The program has started with 37 schools, one school in each state of the Federation and FCT. The model school option as a credible additional initiative to spur rapid improvement in both access and quality issues as well as addressing concerns about equity. In Ubeck, we can go beyond junior secondary school by law, uh, you know, in that, in that regard. And to provide them with whatever is required in terms of the modern gadgets, you know, in terms of the, uh, the smart boards, in terms of the projector that are required, in terms of tablets that are required within the school, in terms of uh, digital libraries, in terms of robotic labs, everything that a, a, a modern school is supposed to have. And I think that's what we are trying to set up. And these are examples. We are not going to, you know, Ubeck is not running schools in states and anything. But what Ubeck is doing is trying to develop models that those, those states, working with states, and from day one, the idea is a, a joint cooperation between Ubeck and states, between the federal government and the state governments. Fortunately, I think a lot of the states are very enthusiastic about it. And they are even adding more facilities, building, uh, isn't it, you know, accommodation for teachers, isn't it, you know, looking for ways in which we can have better internet connectivity. And uh, we are, are quite, isn't it, you know, happy with the program. This option is predicated on the realization that the local basic education agencies and professionals are fast losing focus on the quality dimensions and global best practices of basic education delivery. The coordinating rules of the Universal Basic Education Commission, UBEC, in ensuring that standards are adhered to make necessary the quest for effective innovative guides and direction, as well as viable solutions to challenges in quality basic education delivery. This is the justification for the model school approach to play catalytic roles in the provision of equitable access to quality basic education in Nigeria. The main objective of the model school initiative are stimulate increased demand for basic education to enable Nigeria achieve 100% enrollment of children aged 5 to 14 plus by 2030 serve as reference schools that would enable at least 60 percent of public basic education schools to conform to minimum standards in the provision of infrastructure and other necessary facilities by 2030 also serve as guides for public and private basic education schools in implementation of standard academic programs and other critical co-curricular activities by 2030. in terms of its core mandate the model smart school approach is to demonstrate and showcase how workable national minimum standards can be, including basic education curricula as approved by the National Council of Education and as enshrined in the other statutes to guide basic education institutions across Nigeria. Other mandates of the model schools are providing professional training grounds for students in pre-service training institutions for robust training experience and guidance. Serve as training grounds for in-service teachers in basic education catchment areas of dedicated model schools. Serve as veritable expert research institutions on basic education studies. Provide equitable access to quality basic education to all eligible Nigerian children irrespective of gender, ethnicity, religious affiliation, socio-economic background, disability, and health status. Develop and improvise cost-effective institutional materials 
that would enhance effective implementation of basic education curricula and serve as reference institutions for effective and efficient management of basic education schools by state universal basic education boards SUBEPs, and local government education authorities lgeas across nigeria with the commitment by Kano state government to complement the UBEC effort in building this school. Now, Kano State, because they were happy with what UBEC did, they were able to construct uh, teachers' houses. They were able to construct administrative houses. They were able to install solar system to augment what the UBEC did. In designing the structure for the running and operation of the model schools, UBEC was painstaking and made holistic arrangements that took into account the various components and stakeholder interests towards successful outcomes. Systematic monitoring Evaluation, regulation, and reporting of educational programs and practices are key considerations to ensure that acceptable standards are attained, maintained, and improved upon continually. This quality assurance matrix uses two mechanisms for evaluation of schools. School Self-Evaluation, SSE, and External Evaluation, EE. The two mechanisms make up the process of whole school evaluation and provide answers to five vital questions. Does the self-evaluation identify how well the school serves the learners? Is self-evaluation integral to key management systems? Is the school's self-education based on a good range of telling evidence? Does the self-evaluation and planning involve key people in the school? and seek the views of parents, learners, and internal advisors and agencies? Does the self-evaluation lead to action that would achieve the school's long-term goals for development? We are not even using our in-house team, but we selected the best because we wanted the best. So we, 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 we appointed consultants uh, that are practicing in different fields. Uh, architecture, uh, civil engineering, quantity surveying, mechanical, electrical, because we want the best and we are also mindful. These are the first set of smart schools in the country. And uh, believe you or me, you know, in terms of the design. And uh, it's not only at the design stage, we also engage them to survive. And so also uh, that extends to the supervision. And they have done well. So in terms of, yes, the structural, if you are talking about the structural uh, uh, aspect of the work, is, is perfect, yes. All players within the scope of primary and secondary schools substructure of Nigeria's education sector have roles cut out for them towards the success of the smart school program. The multiplayer oversight quality assurance mechanism brings together UBEC, SUBEB, LGEA, school leadership working separately and jointly. Between these entities, the vital tasks of regular monitoring and evaluation of the performance of the model schools checks and balances in terms of punctuality, drive and commitment to learning by head teachers, teachers and learners are carried out. For instance, the local government education authorities, which customarily are the custodians of all basic education schools in the states, monitor the performance of the model schools more frequently than the UBEC and SUBEPs and report on the school activities. Such reports come from the LGEA to SUBEB and then to UBEC. School leadership and management of the model school ensure that all necessary provisions are made available at all times. 
the school at all times should hold each teacher or student given rules or responsibility accountable for good performance or otherwise while the school based management committee sbmc plays critical role of supporting the activities of the schools uh, in our dealings with the koreans when we you know when we started the discussions i think they took one key element in terms of training because they said the most important aspect is the teacher the teacher has to be trained and be trained properly to understand what this 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 these things is involved and so on and so forth and that's the reason why from day one they took the 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 head teachers of both the junior secondary and the primary to korea to go and induct them to see how their own schools there are run you know they are smart schools you know and at the end of the day i think they came to appreciate is it what what is what 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 is really involved and if you look at the learners now the learners now all, all the learners all the learners now if they were now around would have gone round the classes and you see how they are manipulating this tablet they were able to what they were able to use the tablet to take note they were able to use the tablet to search for information they were able even to use the tablet to perform their assessment direct funds allocation by ubec from education imbalance component of ube sharing formula for the construction of school infrastructure for new structures and for renovation of existing structures and facilities where an existing one is to be turned to a model school funds for salaries and allowances for teaching and non-teaching staff of the schools are borne by the LGEA where model school is located school maintenance overhead funds is provided by UBEC from the good performance fund component of the UBE sharing formula instructional materials funds are provided by UBEC from the instructional materials component of the UBE sharing formula monetary supervision logistics that is vehicles transport allowances and staff allowances and other essential logistics uh, fund are provided by subebs for model schools within their jurisdiction funding for sbmc activities is also provided by the subebs for schools under their jurisdiction <laughs> Extensive work has been on the development of course outline and course contents for the training of education managers, teachers, technical support personnel and other stakeholders for the smart schools and e-learning programs. Identify courses required for stakeholders of e-learning and smart schools projects. Similar action has been undertaken for the development of course outlines and course content for the training of education managers teachers technical support personnel and other stakeholders in the smart schools and e-learning programs for the purposes of achieving the goals of smart schooling in nigeria ubec has stretched out countries with benchmark experience in the area south korea is a ready ally in this direction a memorandum of understanding is already signed and sealed between both parties the commission received a team of experts project management consultants for the smart schools from korea on 5th of july 2022 during which collaboration meetings were held between ubec korea international cooperation agency to achieve a holistic stakeholders engagement in attendance was the management consultants ubion consortium follow up meeting of ubec and koika officials was held with subeb directors supervising smart schools implementation another interface session arranged for koika officials to meet with relevant stakeholders on the implementation of the smart schools project in nigeria at the invitation of south korea a high level training study tour took a ubec delegation to seoul south korea from the 20th to 26th september 2022 the training 
aims to expose the project implementation units PIU members to approaches to running a smart school through enhanced classroom practices for teachers and education managers. Later in December 2022 through January 2023, principals of smart schools were in South Korea for a training study tour held in collaboration with the Korea International Cooperation Agency, COICA. The training aimed to expose the principals to approaches to running a smart school through enhanced classroom practices for teachers and education managers. In the same vein, UBEC has undertaken a critiquing session on training manuals to work out blended learning materials for the smart schools. All these are only a reflection of the superlative work UBEC has been engaged with in the strong resolve to put Nigeria on the map of smart schooling nations in the world. For now, the task of building 37 pilot model smart schools across the 36 states of the country and one in the Federal Capital Territory is steadily on course with an unwavering zeal and commitment of the Universal Basic Education Commission. There is a strong optimism and expectation that after gaining requisite experience on the optimal way of running such schools, state governments, with the collaboration of UBEC, would establish more and more smart schools in their states until they become the standard prototype for public schools in Nigeria. The Smart School Program of UBEC is raising so much optimism about where the future of foundation education is headed in Nigeria. The template to inject smart tech into teaching and learning in the country has been laid through the model smart school approach of UBEC. The momentum can only be expected to build up from here on based on best practices and a short quality culture. That way, smart schooling can scale up smart growth and development with spin-off effects sure to place Nigeria as front row player on the global arena. Thanks for following the series Smart Schooling, Smart Growth, spotlighting the innovative and proactive initiative of Universal Basic Education Commission to push the frontiers of teaching and learning in Nigerian schools. I am Anams Olchi. <laughs>